Hey queens and kings, welcome back. As you guys can see, today will be my fall tour of my living room. I told you guys in a freezing video that the colors in my home will actually stay for year round unless I decide to change the color, but it will be a whole lot of rearranging for my living room. So I'm start off give you guys a good, uh, try to give you guys a good pan around view. But, you know, I'm working with um, daylight and some lighting in my home, which I don't have too much, but hopefully you guys get a good view. So let's get started. Um, by all means, I am not done with my home. I'm actually still furnishing my living room. So, but that was the pan around. Give you guys back. We can start from here, which is the door there. You know, the kitchen is there, which you guys already got a, a tour of that. So, here is the um, IKEA lac tables, or whatever they call that. I show you guys that I um, haul um, from one of my last video from my um last haul that i did my glam haul um here's the fur which i just cut it in half but there it's not done yet it's not finished because i'm actually gonna do a diy on it um let me show you guys see i just actually cut it to the size because i know what i want to do with it um but yeah here's the pillows that i also haul um some candles that i had for a while now candle holders that i had for a while now but here is my mantle, uh, my fireplace. But yeah, this is how I have it set up. But so I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Um, sorry for all the shaking, but here is the calendar that I actually hauled. I'm trying to give you guys some light here, but. I'm working with daylight and house lighting, but it's not working for me. But yeah, um, the lounges that here, those I got from um, Big Lots a while back. Um, those flowers I did in a haul. Um, just look at the sconce here. I got from Ross. Um, I just laid up some pumpkins and did a little couple DIYs that I actually didn't show because I didn't feel like I had to show those because it's self-explanatory. Um, basically, you can look at it and see what I did. Um, here goes some more of those um, little candle holders that I did a haul. The little crystal ones back here. Um, that's a DIY. All I did just pour glitter. I made glue on top of the pumpkin, let it drip down how I wanted it to actually drip, and just pulled the sprinkled the glitter all over it. And also put some more. Um, just place some diamonds and some acorns around. Some candles that I don't have lit because I have the one over there that I haul. Um, here's the other side. Uh, which my home is more like a when I place things around 9 or 10 you may see it on the total opposite side those are the um, mirrors that I actually hold so you see that I have them over there as well here is my lac um, shelf that I got from Ikea a while back All I, it came in, in black all I did was spray paint it silver and arrange my books on it because I'm a book um, a book lover. I love to read. Um, up here, I just have some faux flowers that I hold. Um, that clear container came from the party store because I use it for my daughter party a year ago. The face sign came from Ross. I think I paid like about seven ninety nine for it. Um, there's a book back there. Just say African. Um, this green little vase, uh, I'm not sure what I actually got that, but I had it for a while now. Um, they got another the little DIY punk. I just rearranged it, placed it over here on my bookshelf. Um, here's some books that I read, which is most of them is Eric Jerome Dickley. 
Dicky. Um, I love that guy. I love his books. I love his books. I collect them. Um, I think I have majority of them, but I'm not sure. Probably off a couple, probably about three or four of them off. A uh, couple zine books and stuff like that, 50 Shades. I still haven't finished the other collection for that, so I'm going to get that. Um, here are these little um, Dollar Tree candles with um, these little crystal balls on here. It's, they actually came off my daughter's bed. They started coming out, so like I said, y'all know me, creative thinking, creative mind, so... I decided to keep them and use them because you know I like all things glitz and glams and crystals. But um, this here is a DIY that I was just practicing on or doing something or whatever. I'm not sure if you guys like it or whatever. If you want to see one, I will actually show you guys. Just let me know. Here um, I did some more DIYs. Um, little door book. You know, anybody could do that. Spray painted book, put some letters on there. Here also is the candles, the little DIY I did with the little acorns. That's what they call it. yeah, acorns, right? Yeah, um, little candles in there. And here, I just placed a mirror down there. You actually can't tell, but it's a pumpkin in there. I'm trying to get as close as I can, but it's one of the other pumpkins that I DIY, which I know I should have put one of the color ones in there, but hey. It is what it is. So, give you guys another view of that. How I arranged that. I'm actually loving how my way my bookshelf came out. Um, these curtains that I hauled, the little sheer curtains that I hauled from Amazon. Step back because the outside is just really blinding you guys right now. Um, they go one of the DIY pillars that I did, and those little black pillars just came out for. Um, uh, uh, bed in the bag set that I had a while back and I used because you guys see that I'm actually throwing black into the home um, those pillows the little fur cream pillows there I actually brought those from I want to say Target a while back here on um, my little DIY console table which I bought those pedestals from a local store here in town um, I just have some family portrait I didn't put too much of fall on this side just those some pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree um, pictures of my kids our family photo but all I did with those um, apocryphal jars that I said that I had already they could not fit in my kitchen because they're too big I just actually put some of those fillers in there that I actually hauled and put a candle in there. Um, here just have an old lamp, which I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. But I know this area is going to change because I know how I am. And it's like I said in the beginning, it's not finished by all means. I'm still trying to critique my living room because you see here, I have a bare wall with nothing on it. I'm not sure if I want to put a mirror there or find a nice picture large picture to put there I'm not sure but here <clears throat> I just have this um, chase that I actually brought from Amazon a while back I think I had about a year or two now and this pillar back here the green pill I did the DIY on that the same way that I did the others which was an old green shirt and some more of the pillows from Target and another one of the black pillars from a little bed in the bath bedding. Um, I'm going back to the sofa, which I didn't tell you guys where I get these pillars from. Which, like I said, the uh, fur pillars from Target, the DIY, um, the sparkle pillars are from Amazon. Um, I show you guys this in a haul. The white fur pillow that I got from Walmart for five dollars, and that goes my cute little bow DIY. I actually like how they turned out. I really do. And I don't know if some of you guys caught it in the last pre in the um tour that I the tour oh wow. The DIY that I did on it. I actually had the sprites going the opposite way, which so off camera, whatever when I realized it, I just turned it around and just finished doing it the same way I did everything else. 
um yeah so that is my living room um in here here's the table i actually got this glass table from target um i had it two years now and i just on now on my coffee table you guys see that i put a little fur run on there that's from the little extra fur that i had left over from what i cut but to go on top of the little ikea lac tables there um still have my centerpiece still set up how i show you guys in my fall series so, yeah i actually like how my flower turned out the flower vase with the DIY with the little crystals and the pine cones to get out pine cones in there. I'm loving the way how that turned out. But yeah, this is my living room. This is my fall decor that I put in my living room. So any things you guys see that you want to know, oh, this green fur rug here, little shade rug, it came from IKEA, as well as the green curtains back there, they came from IKEA. But yeah, I think I told you guys everything where I got everything from. But if you want to know, just ask and I'll tell you guys if I didn't mention. But I'm going to give you guys another pan around. I'm liking it how I really look right now, but I know it's going to change. I really do, especially this area over here. I know that's going to change like totally. Look. This is it. I'm sorry about the lighting. You guys know I'm new to this. I'm not true to it as yet. <laughs> as yet. Now I'm getting there. But yeah. So hopefully my next video will be better than this. Um, but I'm working with what I have to build my channel. But I'm hoping you guys like what I have so far. I have the other um, lampshade over here in the kitchen so i hope you guys like she got one lamp shade and i don't have one on the other i'm just using trying to get some lighting as you can tell but yeah this is my fall living room decor so if you guys like please give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel welcome and to all my old subscribers, to my queens and kings, I appreciate the love, the comments, the shares, the likes that you guys are doing. Oh yeah, guys, we, we up to 100 plus subscribers. So I'm actually just over the top excited about that. So I will actually be doing, giving you guys, showing you guys what the box gonna look like and what other good treats and all that's in there. I'm still working on it because I don't wanna send an empty box. I just, I don't like to, give less you hear what i'm saying i don't like to give less so yeah so you guys stick around for that because i have another haul coming up um some more other things that i want to do but it all take time so like i said i appreciate you guys and i'm excited for you 100 plus subscribers you guys just don't know how hard it was to get to that so i'm just hoping this channel continue to grow and like i said thank you guys i love you all y'all have a blessed day until next time. Bye.